This is Salma Schimmel in Chicago at the annual ASCO meeting for the group room. Joined now by Dr. Patrick Hu, Department Chair, Department of Melanoma Medical Oncology, Division of Cancer Medicine, the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. What makes melanoma such a deadly disease? Because it spreads so quickly. Even if it's a millimeter in thickness, which isn't very thick, you know, most cancers that are a millimeter thick, you can easily cure that by cutting it out. But melanoma, even if it's a millimeter thick, some patients are cured by cutting it out, but some also get metastatic disease where it spreads to all over all parts of the body, such as the brain, liver, lung. The mode of, of, of spread is via the lymphatic system or tell us how because one would think, well, it's here and it's part of my skin and it's isolated here. They should be able to cut it out. But explain to us sort of the uh, biology of melanoma, please. It can uh, spread locally through the roads that go to the lymph nodes. So um, all tissues have roads that go to the lymph nodes. And, and so the melanoma can spread through the lymphatics, but it can also spread distantly through the blood. Uh, so initially we do a, a sentinel lymph node dissection, uh, biopsy and, and dissection if it's positive. That means it's taking out the lymph nodes that might spread locally. Even when we take, clear all the lymph nodes, we can still get spread to distant organs and that's through the blood. So melanoma can spread either way, through the lymph nodes or the blood. What is the role of and the need of tissue the collection and sharing of tissue with researchers? It's extremely important to get tissue uh, for a number of reasons. One is it helps us learn how to attack cancer so that we can not only treat that one patient better but also future patients. And so tissue uh, biopsies are extremely important in clinical trials and to tell you the truth, most patients are happy to give tissue, especially yes. if they know it might help them. But 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 even if it's just to help other other patients down the line, uh, they want to make some meaning out of their their disease that randomly struck them, and they're very happy to give it. Absolutely. And so um, we we've been very uh, um, um, enthusiastic about that, and and our feeling is we can really help to design better treatments by getting that tissue not only at the beginning to predict who should get what treatment, but also after we give the treatment, uh, just know how the drug is affecting the tissue, the tumor. We really need that information that's critical for us to make better therapies. Do you ever see a chance that there will be a ability to predict who's at risk for melanoma? I think that's important to do. Now whether it's a genetic inheritable risk, there's only a small population of patients for which the melanoma was a genetic risk passed on by the mother and father, unless you count skin tone as something that you get genetically. Can you analyze though um, and validate if you have a family history? You're all, okay, already maybe more at risk, but is there any kind of genetic test, any kind of blood test yet to help someone know that they may uh, possess some kind of genetic mutation that will really put them at higher risk than the average person? Nothing at this point that I think should be clinically on the market uh, and, and in common use. But I think what, what can be done and what the research is, is, is heading towards, there's, uh, for example, at MD Anderson, there's someone, Dr. Ken Sai, who's starting to work on that, and that's to just take normal skin and isolate the RNA and DNA and the genes that are in the normal skin hmm. and, and see how does that skin signature look and is that a skin signature that might predispose towards the development of skin cancers? And so if he's wow. successful at finding that, then he might say, well, these patients then uh, need to be screened more frequently than other patients. So that's our hope, to try to uh, triage screening based on the genetic signature of skin. Dr. Patrick Hu, Department Chair, Department of Melanoma Medical Oncology, Division of Cancer Medicine at the University of Texas, MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas.